Lady has done for us and invited us into to be here. Um, and uh, we heard in the words of our song briefly what it said, Lord, you know, you, you will show me the path to life. You will show me the path to life. I think it was in our gospel acclamation too about the Lord is showing us this path to eternal life, the path to the kingdom of God. And I think in, in so many ways, the Lord, our blessed Mother, have done that in these days. They have been showing us that path. How do we walk with God? How do we walk with Christ? How do we walk with Our Lady day by day, moment by moment, on that path of eternal life? Not only life in this world, which would be of little account if we weren't living for the heavenly kingdom, which will be forever. Uh, you know, this, this life is the blink of an eye, but eternity is forever and ever and ever. Mm -hmm. And so, with these days of grace, Blessed Mother calling us to this place, each one of us individually in a special way, but also drawn together as a group to say, I want to show you the path to heaven. I want you to live it. I want you to find it. The road to damnation is wide, and there are many who follow it, but the road to life is narrow. It's like Mount, the cross mountain, you know, it's, it's that, that, that rocky path, that path up the hill. It's narrow, but that's the path to life. And Our Lady has shown us what it looks like to follow Christ. We've seen it here these days. Uh, you know, prayer from the heart, rosary, you know, living that life of faith, the call to conversion and coming to confession, giving over our sins and having him wipe us clean. That we can begin anew, have that deep love for his scripture, for the word of God, having a hunger for it, fasting and denying ourselves so that we can stoke our hungers for eternal things. And and just, just living that life of, of the Eucharist that we're celebrating now, to be fed by, by Christ on a daily basis even, to, to consume him, to allow him to consume us, consume our hearts. And as we heard from the, the first reading today, like that divine fire coming from heaven when we consume the, the Eucharist, it's not that we consume it, but rather the Lord consumes us. His fire enkindles in our hearts that longing for him, and the more we receive, the more we long for the Lord. And so we give abundant thanks to the Lord in this Mass. I encourage you to just say, Lord, what, what am I thankful for in these days, these times? And then just place it on the altar and then just lift it up to the Lord and, and rejoice um, like Our Lady did in that Magnificat. You know, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior for all the good things the Lord has done for us. So we cherish those graces, we, uh, we acknowledge them, and we ask the Lord to seal them in our hearts and to give us the grace to live out of those, to walk faithfully into that path of life in wherever we go as we depart.